So here we're gonna see how the TDS meters works. Well, the TDS stands for the total dissolved solids in the solution or in water. It is two metal contacts which acts as a probe. It gets dipped into the solution. I will explain you the science behind further in this video. So it works with the two button cells. Let me remove the circuit. So this is all it has. The three switches, a display and the IC. I will connect the battery to show you it's working. So it has all three buttons. One of them is for on off. Another one is to check the temperature and the top one is to hold the result. This is the circuit. It gets the value from the probes and shows the result on the display. Also, it has a transistor. Its base is connected to one of the probe and this NTC is actually a thermistor to sense the temperature. Let me show you. So when I bring the flame close to the probe, the temperature rises. And by pressing the hole, the value will be freezed. Well, now I will show you the TDS test. For that, I have taken three samples, distilled water, RO and tap water. It works on the basis of the conductivity of the solution. The more the TDS, the more the current will pass between the probes. The distilled water has the negligible conductivity because it has almost no solid particles in it while the tap water has the highest TDS and hence it has more conductivity so if your phone falls in distilled water it will still work because it has the resistivity as much as the air okay hope you like this video and sure to subscribe see you in the next video